Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Engine's Play. So I have here Akuma by PCS. This is one third scale. This is one of the pieces I would say that are very underrated and this is one of my favorites. It's very unfortunate because I couldn't display him here to be honest because he, he would really be out of place but I, I'm really trying to look for a place for him. Uh, that's why I really want to have also a photo of this bad boy to... Uh, the next one would be Ryu, uh, so I start with this and I'm super excited, I want to share with you how I will do it, what's the concept, how is the lighting, so let's get started, So because I'm super excited right now. So when I try to do photo shoot, I always do research. I get like the different colors of the character, uh, the colors that they are known for. So this one, I saw that there's actually a violet color or magenta, or I don't know what color is this. I, I only know violet or pink. So that's why I have this color. I'm not so sure if the camera picks it, that one. And I'm looking for something that where his powers are like, glowing or something so i might need something like a uh i don't know like a red or orange or yellow so this one i have not i'm not so sure yet actually that's the easy part identifying the colors that you want the difficult part is actually where to place them so right now i really don't know yet how i will do this either i have it like this i kind of don't like have to be like this because the the exposure is too high so I actually wanted to have like uh, the the main light having a separation between the purple and the orange or yellow or red. So that's kind of concept of the lighting. But how to position them, it's kind of a bit tricky right now. This side is quite okay. I think my only problem is actually here. There's really like a lot of exposure here compared goes here. I think for the different, um, how do I say, uh, different shots, I think I might need to move this around and not keep this, like, stay here because most of the time I just keep it, uh, the lighting for one angle, I just keep it there, the, the, the light source, but maybe for this one, for even for the different angles, I might need to move this around because there are really some shots that there's there's a lot of exposure here so anyway that's not actually the much of a problem my problem is actually right now is this one um, it does not really look that good it gives like a lot of red here um, I really don't want that so maybe I need to move this around and move it like this or no maybe put this really at the back like that and then push this also there something like this so what it this actually creates is also some like a blend of the purple and also the black and also the red um and then yeah so by the way i i kind of love the red because i can change it to orange and even go further to somehow like yellow in the color grading. That's why I use that. But for this one, I think I'd stick to like red, like, like really red. I wanted to have this like very good red. Um, and then I hope I could get a photo where this is being highlighted somewhere here and also gets highlights from here. And I really love that. And I didn't even turn on the lights yet, but let's see. I think it's, I hope this is gonna be good. Uh, then let me try the light uh, lighting it up there because I hope this is good I really hope so
by the way something that i didn't tell you so it's a bit complicated so the lighting that i have here right now this one this is not the right or the correct let's say intensity so i know after i take the video i actually going to reduce this uh but this ones i have kept so this one right now is 20 percent this one is 15 and i think this is only three or two uh, but this one I have to reduce. This one is already at 100%. I am only getting this high because uh, so that I can actually have the video. But when I take photo, I really reduce this. I reduce this to really get all the shadows and uh, overexpose it and also capture the different colors. So, so far, I'm really loving it. Now I just need to move it around. And then once again, I have to really move this as well. I think this too will stay here. And the exposures, I will also put them uh, below. Most of the time I use that, I don't change different exposures. Sometimes I mostly change the lighting uh, intensity for her when I do the photo shoots. So there's actually a shot that I really want. And it's actually this shot where there I can you can actually let me move this again. Where you can actually see at the back and I really wanted to perfect this. It's kind of difficult right now because I'm trying a, really a lot of angles for, for this one uh, to have it very nicely uh, colored, the, the lower part. Um, but so far, I got the, the lighting that I want and also this one. So it, it, this has to be like a silhouette, a red silhouette. And then like it's showcasing his back and all of this stuff. It, it, so far, I kind of like it. I hope in the post process it's doing good. But anyway, yeah, um, I hope I got it. I really want this shot because it's beautiful. So there you go. That was my photo session of this bad boy. Really amazing piece. Every time I see this, I still love it. Um, really, really beautiful scalp and all of that. Um, that's why I really wanted to take photo of this again. Uh, and I hope you enjoy that. That was my workflow on this. As you notice, settings exposure is mostly the same. It's consistent. What I normally change are the different angles, the intensity of the, of the lighting and all of that. So yeah, again, I hope you like the video. If you do, click the thumbs up and help me share with everyone. And also subscribe to my channel, The Engine's Place, if you haven't yet. And see you in the next photo session.